guys i just want to bring this information to our knowledge i'm not making this video for it to reach many people or for a lot of people to watch or listen to it i just want a few persons who understand to really listen to this and it's very important okay all right so let's go to the world of athletics according to rule 2.4 of the world athletics anti-doping rule it says that any athletes failing to declare their whereabouts for a doping test on three occasions over 12 months is ineligible to compete for two years okay let me explain so in the world of athletics you will need optimal strength to be the best or to compete internationally right so athletics requires physical strength and flexibility for an individual to perform well so your body needs to be in a better shape or needs to be sound however there are players who resort to the use of enhancers or drugs to increase their energy level thereby enhancing their performance during competition okay some ingest drugs some inject drugs okay and this is against the law in the world of athletics and it is called doping Meaning that some amazing performances can be triggered or enhanced under the influence of a drug. Some of these drugs are drugs like um, anabolic steroids like the androstenedione, the testosterone and the rest of them. And there are also drugs um, that we call the masking agents. Okay like the plasma expander another thing again we have the diuretics we have the hormonal modulators metabolic modulators and the rest of them so these are drugs that a lot of, some of these um athletes do inject okay to enhance their performance and it is definitely against the rules in athletics so it's it's been banned if you're performing well let it be your natural strength Back to why we are here. In the month of July 2022, Toby Amundsen set the world record of 12.12 .12 seconds in the world championship in Oregon and won the title. So she became the world record holder for the 100 meter hurdles. Okay. Since she won the title, her career actually had taken a parachute up there. There are, we are endorsements, deals here and there, and our girl is really doing well and making Nigeria proud. She also broke her own record. This did not sit well with some people, and of course, they did what they know how to do best, instigate and tarnish. This is not about racism, no. This is an internal politics because there are other blacks doing amazing and there are others from other races who are also trying their best to protect blacks as well as protect Toby. In the world of sports, they've really looked at Africans to be underneath. I'm talking about the continent of Africa. Yet, they hire our players to play for them. So I would say it's about the continent, not the skin color. Alright, in July last year, 2023, Toby was accused and charged with missing three anti-doping tests in 12 months. The case was investigated and tried by the Disciplinary Tribunal of the Body, which is the World Athletics Disciplinary Tribunal. After thorough investigations and trials, Toby Amuso, our very own, was declared innocent. The decision was issued on the 17th of August 2023. And the World Athletics Disciplinary Tribunal said that Toby did not violate Rule 2.4 of World Athletic Anti-Doping Rule. And therefore, that no period of ineligibility should be imposed on Toby. My people, this final result then sits well with the petitioners and they went to the court of appeal so the appeal to the court of arbitration for sports cas and they have the final say in their respective appeals to cas the world athletics and world anti-doping agency had sought for the imposition of a two-year period of ineligibility against toby 
and the hearing was held on the 19th of January 2024. What kind of wickedness is this? Is it a crime to lead in athletics? Why is it a problem for them? And of course, they targeted to make her miss championships. Imagine placing a two-year ban on a world record holder. That will automatically mean a lot of things. It will automatically remove her record and there are many things at stake. She will automatically lose her ambassadorial deals, future deals. Who would even want to see the billboard of a dopa? Who would want to work with someone who illegally won? She would miss many games and will go back beneath other players. What a move and a powerful strategy against someone whose crime was playing well and placing her country on the map. Do you know the emotional trauma she had been battling because of this issue? Doing your best yet other players would be made to believe that you did it because you weren't genuine. That you, you got a better result because you weren't genuine. What kind of an emotional trauma do people inflict on others? especially the innocent. It will also affect her in Nigerian sports because the law is a world athletic standing law. Meaning that she will also be banned from competing in major competitions in Nigerian sports. And most importantly, she would miss Olympics. But before then, they wanted to deal with her the more. That's why they became so intense in finding flaws. While the trial was ongoing, Toby was still allowed to compete until the final judgment is passed. So Toby went on to amaze the world, defending her titles. Of course, the board was watching. Everything was glaring. The truth was obvious. She attended and competed at the Diamond League in China in April 2024. Knowing that if she wins, it will automatically place her above her peers and add to her evidence of innocence against the doping test that they accused her of. So they saw what they thought they saw and alleged that she violated the false rule. To be protested against that, well, they allowed her to run. And seeing that she won, they remembered that she violated the false rule and disqualified her. What an emotional torment. The young lady is so strong emotionally, it's not easy. Kudos to her entire team who worked tirelessly to ensure that she did not give up because that is the plan here. Toby still went on to amaze people in the world of sports. She kept being positive while the trial was on. Alright, few days ago, after proper deliberation, the CAS panel issued a decision dismissing both actors. Heels. So the Court of Arbitration for Sports unanimously acknowledged that the athletes committed two filing failures but they did not confirm the existence of a missed test as alleged by World Athletics and World Anti-Doping Agency. And CAS panel concluded that the athletes did not commit an anti-doping rule violation. Had the appeal been upheld, Toby would have missed the Paris 2024 Olympics. It's all God, yes. We appreciate God for this. We appreciate the court and the decision makers for being upright in their judgment. I'm not saying because it went in favor of Toby. It is not easy to dismiss the application of a powerful organization like that. May we be vindicated when we need it the most. We are unstoppable. No matter their plots, men will be raised to defend us. This is a miracle if you ask me. Yes, to make such a final decision twice in favor of someone, especially an African, is rare. They already propagated this evil against a young African lady. They coined it, alleged it, and circulated the propaganda all over the internet. Many self-destructive bloggers carried the news. Some people didn't wait for the trial to conclude. They concluded it themselves. And they started spreading this information. But Nigerians were positive and we hoped for a better result. Our own Toby and our Nigerian athletes in various places didn't let this rumor stop or discourage them. And in the end, Nigeria laughed last.